Hello guys, my name is Merrick and welcome to why Morphlin is really OP to play. Now Morphlin in the past few patches got savagely nerfed because the hero was so good to play and even though they nerfed him so badly, the hero still getting picked but despite his low win rate in Dota buff, which is 40% in Dota buff, but the hero is really good and take it from me guys. The win rate in Dota buff doesn't mean the hero is bad, it means they don't know how to play with the hero. And if you review the buff that Morphling got in patch 7.07a and b and they made the old Morphling back for so many reasons that I will mention now. But let's review together the recent buff that Morphling got. The first buff is for Adaptive Strike. So now his max agility multiplier increased by 0.5. His attribute bonus agility and strength increased from 3, 4, 5, 6 to 4, 5, 6, 7 which is actually huge. And also attribute shift won't cost you any mana, which is really big deal now. Like if there's 5 people attacking you and you don't even have mana, you still can switch to strength and be totally fine with that. And even if you have no mana, you still can switch back to agility to be like, hey guys, I'm back to do more damage. So that's really one of the best things that you can ever see with Morphlin. Now let's look at why Morphlin is so good now. The hero is great with split pushing even though they changed his ultimate ability but with his talent tree which is increasing the range of his waveform you still can be able to just waveform and tp out he can do so much damage in the early game with the agility items like ring Aquila, treads that will allow him to almost get 100 damage with right click and let's not forget about his waveform that can nuke the enemy also you can skip e-blade if you want and go for manta style scardy if you want to be cheeky with the player you can even go for shadow blade so you can get some pick off so the main items for morphling are lincoln sphere of course manta side e-blade scardy butterfly and the last item will be situational like E-Blade is situational item because it delays the team fight items with Morphling. Even though I love to fight with Lincoln Sphere only, but getting E-Blade would delay your other items like Manta Style and whatever. Also, you can only get E-Blade against squishy target that you will actually eliminate in the early fight before it even starts. Now, let's talk about the rework of his ultimate ability, which they call it Morph now. So now you can target the enemy with your ultimate ability and be like them. Which is nice to have, because you can use their even skills, but not their ultimate abilities. By using, like for example, waveform, then you can uh, use your ultimate ability on him, so you can seal his stump. Uh, like if you are playing against a center or something like that. So you can stun him, switch back to more, uh, switch back to your uh, main form, and try to right click him down and kill him. So that's really nice, you can even use it in the late game. But the downside of that, if the replicate... Uh, that you are using which is morph they call it now if it dies you will die as well so be careful using that now morphling is strong more than ever despite his shitty win rate but there's still a lot of pro players who spam in morph and one of them is bad man so trust me guys morphling is great now now that's it for the day but before you leave i would like to ask you guys for your opinion of making new guides where I download pro player games and explain how they are playing so you can benefit from knowing how they play in the laning phase and also in the late game. So if you like the idea let me know in the comment section below so I can start making videos. Thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and if you are new here don't forget to subscribe, like and share this video with your friends to support me more on this channel. This is Merrick see you in the next video.